What is up, EV Bike Rides? We are ready to get it started, baby. Hey, we finna flip this bike over and start this build. Waste no time, baby, waste no time. All right, on this bike, I got a quick release. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this front wheel off. I'm gonna try to get this camera as close as I can. Just go ahead and take your front wheel off. It's the first thing you're gonna do. If you wanna use your tire and tube, that's okay. The kit comes with one. In this case, I'm gonna be using my own. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab mine and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this motor and I'm gonna head to my couch. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down while I put this, uh, put this on. And if you're out on the road and if you have a flat, the first thing I want you to do is do not panic. Do not panic when you have a flat because what you're gonna do is you're gonna delay everything when you have a flat. So, you know, me putting this tire on is just like uh, having a flat. You have to change it. You can't do nothing about it. I mean, you've got puncture-proof tires and tubes out there all over the place. There's no way you're not gonna be 100% safe. So you're gonna always have some kind of accident, especially with the tires. So be prepared to change a tire or two every now and then. I mean, you may think it works the best, but hey, man, don't take no chances. This will happen. So we're going to, uh, first thing you want to do when you get this, just like changing any uh, bike tire, you take your tube. It came with a tube. I got my own, but it came with one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this tube inside this tire, just like that. And you can put a little air in it. You can take your air pump and put a little air in it to get it around the edges because most of these tubes, when you buy them brand new, they're flat. They got little edges on them and it's hard to put them inside these tires. So I put that in like so, grab this, see if I can get a little bit closer and put this right in there. Just like that, it should seep right through. There you go. And I do, I just grab the end of it and I come around and push my tire and I level it off just like that. And I'll get you some, get, put a shirt on and some shorts or some pants that you really don't care about. You don't care about getting dirty or getting marks on and put your tire on just like that. Look at that. All right, now it's time to go put it on the bike. Just like so, I'm gonna turn this thing around. Uh, yep. All right, let's go put it on the bike. And I come over here and this Volomart side, it goes on your right side of your bike and the torque arm goes on the left. That's how I do it. That's how mine's go on. I mean, that's how I try to remember it. But uh, I'm gonna put this on like so. And before you put this on, make sure you got a wash on the inside of the fork and, and your kit comes with four washers, uh, two on each, put, uh, you get two rounds and two with the little notches on it. You get two rounds and two with these little notches for your uh, forks. The so one going on each side, one going on the outside, and one going on the inside. And these are the ones that go on the outside. The rounds go on the inside. So you put those on like that on both sides. Put your uh, nuts on. You got one on each side. Put those on. Well, actually, hold on. I got to put the torque on there. I almost put an X on the whole party. Make sure you have a torque on. If you don't have a torque on, you're gonna ruin your kit. You're gonna have a lot of problems. So I'm gonna take my five millimeter and my 10 millimeter. And this is a standard uh, torque on that they have. You can get off Amazon or eBay. I'll show y'all how to put that on. And as long as that thing is hitting against the frame or attached to the frame, you're gonna be all right. All right, this is your little basic torque arm. I just take mine like this, sticking on this uh, right here on your bike. This is a 14 millimeter. Uh, this right here, I got it closest to the uh, frame as I can. I put that on the outside. Now what I'm gonna do, since I, my hands are so big trying to get back there, I gotta take this whole thing off and I screw this on the back, screw this nut on the back side, just like that. And put this on. You don't have to tighten that down yet. Uh, what I do, I just take my nut and screw it on there and give it some leverage. That way I know when I'm getting ready to tighten this up. 
And what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your 10 millimeter and your uh, five millimeter. Your five on the outside, this 10 millimeter going on the inside. I mean, yeah, on the inside and tighten that up. Just like that. And this bottom part, make sure you put a C-clamp in here. Most of these come with a C-clamp. If it don't, go to the hardware store and get a C-clamp. You can use your flathead. Uh, you can use this uh, Walmart little tool here. But make sure you got a C-clamp. Very important. You gotta lock this torque on there, especially for the motors over a thousand watts. Make sure you lock those in there. There's no excuse to not have, to not have a torque on and be out on the road and have an accident because you didn't put the wheel on right. So yeah, go ahead and put a torque on on that thing. Get it locked in. Take your eight millimeter little wrench. I gotta use this screwdriver because I don't know where my little wrench at. And torque that down. There you go. The wheel's on there nice and tight. Go ahead and air your tire up. Take your air pump and uh, I put mine on 40, so air your tire up, it's going pretty fast, I mean this air pump it seems loud but it's not that bad for an electric air pump and the power that it puts out, it's pretty cool. And I got two of these, just to have backup. And they all rechargeable, so you just charge them up with the Android charger. All right. Anyway, got my tire pumped up. All right, the next video, we'll be doing the wiring. Got your tire installed, and double check everything. Come by and make sure everything's tightened down real good. Don't be scared and take the time and make sure that you got everything right and, and torque these down. See, that's another thing. I didn't even torque these down. I was just about to take these down. Just talking about it. Torque these down. Take your 21 millimeter and torque these nuts down real good. There you go. <clears throat> that thing on there solid. It ain't going nowhere. There you go. Next video, we doing the wiring, y'all. EB Bike Rides. We out.